So in this video we are going to see how to modify the register page or in other words the register form by adding three fields beneath the email field which are first name, last name and the phone number. However we are going to neglect the picture value as the new user usually tends to upload his picture only after the website becomes a part of his life. So let's go ahead and see how to do that. Go to the Visual Studio and open the Accounts folder. Under the Accounts folder you will find the register page. Double click it and let's actually see what's going on here. As we have said before, Visual Studio 2013 and the above default project markup language has been built using Bootstrap plugin. So this form group is inside something called form horizontal. So form horizontal is a div element which contains all the fields here. Each field is represented by a div element has a class form group which is in return divided into two elements. The first one represents the field title and got the class call md2 and the second one represents the text box along with its validator if the text box value requires a one. So let's see how to modify this. We are, going no, we are not going to modify anything here. All we have to do is adding an asterisk here in order to inform the user that this uh, field is mandatory. And I will add an asterisk here as well and asterisk here also. But there is something here I want to modify. First, let's go ahead and uh, test this form. So as you might see, the fields here are too far from each other. There's a lot of distance here between this field and this field. And the reason behind that is the validator control, which always occupies a space under the text box regardless being visible or not. To remove it from the DOM when it is invisible, all we have to do here is go to Visual Studio again and add a, field, add a property here called uh, display. Display by default is static. Now we will switch it to dynamic. And let's copy here this one and let's paste it here. Okay. Now let's add the, the three other fields which are the first name, the last name and the phone number beneath the email. Sorry. So let's copy this one and paste it and then type here first name and type the asterisk and then the associated control ID is a text first name and this is exactly the same name of the text box control V and the required field validator here is to validate the text first name as well and that's all so let's copy this one and paste it here for the last name and phone number after finishing save all and then refresh the page now as we can see here, the fields are not far from each other as before. Now, what should we do on the code behind page in order to save all this information provided by the user? All we have to do is go to the code behind by pressing on F7. Unfortunately, unlike the website, the project does not display an expand arrow at the left of each web form to select the code behind page file. All we have to do is pressing F7 and modify the code behind page. So in the code behind page there is only one event here which is create user underscore click which fires immediately once the user clicks the register button. It's worth noting here that by default both the username and the email fields will take the same value which is the email once the user clicks the register button. However you can modify the register page by adding a separate field for the username. But remember that you will have to update the code behind page for almost every web form inside the account folder to be compatible with that subtle change. For me, I find it better to keep both username and email the same so the 
website visitor will not have to remember his chosen username every time he logs in. Now, the changes I will do here is that I will add the dot first name equal text first name dot text and the dot last name equal text last name dot text and the dot phone number equals text phone number dot text that's all and let's rebuild the project again everything you do on the code behind page you have to rebuild your project again otherwise if you save here and come here to the register page and enter the user data and click register it will give you an error so you have to rebuild actually saving all is not important rebuild is uh, important because rebuild is saving by itself now we got the confirmation here let's go to the register page and let's refresh here now let's add a new user first name now let's add a simple password actually one two three for example one two three and click on register and it seems that there is something wrong here let's check out well, let's go back and on the register here the text mode here is not email for the first name last name it should be as default single line let's save let's refresh you don't have to build uh, the project again because this change has been done in the page itself not on the code behind page so let's write b at b dot com click on the register now you will get an error here because there is a limit for the password it has to be at least six characters it has to have at least one uh, lowercase and one uppercase letter and also non-digit uh, character one non-digit character at least so how to change all of these limitations let's go back to the visual studio and let's go to the app start identity config and let's change the values here required lens i will make it three so despite the fact that i prefer to keep those settings as they are i usually change them in the development phase in order to make it easy for me to test imaginary accounts with simple passwords like one two three okay let's save let's rebuild and let's come back here again still rebuilding finish the password one two three one two three click on the register now I have succeeded to create a new user with an email of b at b dot com now let's check the added record here and this b dot at b dot com and here is the first name the last name the picture kept as null and let's see this is the phone number here and that's all thanks for watching if you like the video please press like